Now today we're going to be cooking the gimma. Miranda called Rami's gimma. In other words, minced curry. I know you've all heard of gimma because it is on every menu in every Indian takeout or restaurant in Britain. Um, it's so easy to make and as you by now know on all of my curries I like it easy, simple, fast. Now tonight we've got friends coming around for supper. So we've got the staple ingredients and I have been through all of these before in my other videos but just to go through it again. Now for one packet of mince that should be more than enough for a family of four if not five. You need about four onions, your staple lard ingredients, your dry ingredients, your salt, garam masala, cumin seeds, the all important turmeric and chilli powder or if you don't have chilli powder, fresh chilies or chilli flakes, that's entirely up to you. I'm going to cheat again, I'm going to be really lazy and have no guilt about it. I'm going to use your frozen, straight out of the freezer, ginger and garlic. I don't want to be peeling and I haven't peeled and I don't have any garlic anyway. So, let's get cooking the base. Right, so we're by the cooking now, my good old wok. I do a lot of my cooking, as I've said before, in the wok. I find it just cooks the, the fries, the onion and the garlic so much easier. Now, we've got four onions, I could easily chop. And if you don't have a food blender, you can easily just chop it. I'm just a bit lazy, I want to make no apologies for it. It's just a second later, four onions, done. We don't need that too pureed. I know for the chicken curry, I did very pure, but if you think about it, a chicken curry or a lamb curry needs to be really smooth. The sauce needs to be smooth. This is gimma, so it's just mixed. The onions are just going to go into the mince, so they don't. It doesn't need to be smooth, but as long as they're chopped nice and kind of, you know, doesn't need to be too fine. That's okay. Good on wok. Drizzle of olive oil because remember, minced lamb has a lot of fat. And um, I, I actually do do a version with turkey mince, believe it or not, and it comes out fantastic. Uh, and it's so healthy and for people who are working out and they want their protein fix and turkey mince works wonders but I'm sticking to lamb for one of my first videos because it's the traditional gimma and it is with lamb mince that was about four onions if you've only got three, three will do and in fact, if you've only got two, two will do sometimes I actually make the mistake of putting in um, too much onion but my mum always used to say the more onion, the more taste let's sprinkle a bit of ginger in there and let's sprinkle some garlic in there. You can use puree, my sister always uses it and it comes out fat. And that looks like a lot of onion for one packet of mince, but that will cook down. The more we start, you know, frying it, it will cook down. Let's get the salt in there, because that helps with the frying. I'd say about two teaspoons, and the cumin seed. So we've got the onion, garlic, ginger, salt, and cumin seed. We're going to let that fry for a bit. It's, it's actually going to be quite different to the ones I've cooked before. We don't need to brown and brown and brown the torque. With gimma, with, with the mince, that kind of cooks all in itself once we add that in. So this is actually even quicker. It's just more stewing time, more cooking time. But we're going to leave that just for a little while. Come back in 10 minutes. So, okay, that's been going for 10 minutes. And if you have a look, it kind of looks really dry. Um, and like there's not enough fat, but remember, the fat is going to come from the mint, and that's, we, we haven't really browned that, slightly kind of, you know, glazed over, but we don't need to, because given that the speciality is you just put it all in with all the spices, and then you're going to let it stew for over, like over an hour. Now, what I've realised is, we'll make mistakes, I've actually got quite a lot of onion there, it's probably too much for one packet, but luckily I've got two packets, and I'm just going to do two whole loads, but two packets of the mint. Now remember, if that's, I always cook more than what I need because you can freeze it. The beauty of curries is you can freeze it. Stick in the mint, mash that in, and let's get the spices in. Turmeric, again, be very careful. You don't want it fluorescent. You, it, you don't want it to overpower the taste of everything else. You only need about, just over half a teaspoon. Put that in, put your garam masala in. Let's just put all of that in, about two tablespoons, two, two teaspoons, and your chilli powder. I'm going to make mine quite hot, I like it hot as you know. So let's just get that in. And let's give that a big... Now I always say cook the spices, cook the spices. And this will be, because remember we're going to stew it. We need to really mix that all in. 
But you see, after an hour, this is going to come out delicious. Let's put a little bit of tomato puree, good old tomato puree that gives it that richness. Let's do a good squeeze. Don't be shy. Never be shy with the tomato puree. A little bit of a tomato tin, let's, um, just a little, maybe half a tin, and let's mix that all in. So it's all very raw, onions aren't brown, spices have just been put in. We're gonna give it a good old mix. Remember what I say, don't be gentle, be a little bit rough with your curry. Wipe all the edges, I like to get all the ingredients off the edges. I'm gonna give it a little more squeeze of um, tomato puree. I think we just need a little bit more. Now, lid on, and we need that, put it on a simmer, maybe just slightly higher than a simmer. Leave that for a good, I'm gonna say a good hour, but stir about every 10, 15 minutes. And I still call it express cooking. I know you're thinking that, well she says fast, quick, easy, get in, get out. Well, actually, while that's cooking, I can get on with other things. So this has been quietly simmering away um, for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And as you can see, the, the onions are, st are still clear. The fat is still running, the juices are still running. So that's nicely cooking, it's not cooked. You know your dishes are cooked because it's all kind of clear. It's all, it's just not the right color, not the right depth, but it's cooking nicely. So just give that a little bit of a stir and put the lid back on and leave that for another, I'd say half an hour, but keep stirring every 10 to 15 minutes. So now, it's been a good, I'd say 15 minutes to an hour, and if we take a look now, that is now cooked. This stage, we're gonna add some peas, because that just looks a bit boring. You know, we need a bit of green in there, a bit of color, and gimma is always with peas. Again, if you don't like peas, you don't need them. Let's get them all in there. But look at that. That is stunning. Beautiful. Lid on, and that just needs about five minutes. So there you have it, cold blind meat gimma. Fast, easy, express. Yes, we have to let it stew for an hour, but you could be getting on with other things. Beautiful, with peas, plain yogurt with some cucumber grated on top, and fresh chapati. Chapati will do another day, but Honestly, you just take a bit off, break a bit of your chapati, or pita bread, or naan. You can have anything, even rice. Put some quinoa on there, some yogurt. Mmm. So, mmm, so good. Now, if you've been loving my recipes, please subscribe down below. Narinda Court Blimey, please subscribe. You can interact with me on Twitter, at Narinda Tweets, and you can follow me on Instagram as well. And please like my Facebook page, Narinda Court Blimey. There'll be some more recipes soon. Bye!